I like it cudgy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an awesome day as always. Today we're actually back in Driving Empire because something has been added to the game a long time ago that I never took a look at. Anyways, we're taking a look today guys at the Driving Empire $50 million yacht. This is a vehicle that apparently people have told me to avoid and then other people have been asking me constantly to check it out. So we're just gonna see what it's like. Now luckily for the sake of the video, we did get a little bit of help from the owner to actually get this vehicle, but he did recommend not purchasing it until things get fixed with the system and with the way it interacts um, apparently right now it's a little bit buggy so we're gonna see just how buggy that is um, and just basically see what this is all like so with that being said guys if you didn't know you can basically teleport wherever you want to go in the game so we're just gonna quickly teleport over to the boat dealership now it did come out a long time ago but I've been asked to check it out for a while and we finally finally have the chance to do so so let's go ahead and start by just doing a bit of a comparison so this is just a cheap little speedboat that you guys can buy it's basically what you expect and then there's something in between which is this right here it's a little more luxurious and uh, it, it looks a lot nicer and it's a lot bigger but now let me show you guys the 50 million dollar boat if I'm correct I think this is the most expensive thing you can buy in driving empire so definitely something that you're not going to see very often let's spawn this thing and here is the size of the giant yacht now just to quickly compare before we start to examine the vehicle there's the little boat that you can buy and there's the yacht it is huge if you count it out i think it has uh, one, two, three, four stories. Um, it's it's just enormous. Look at it and when you compare it to the size of the buildings beside it. It's it's huge. It's just giant. Um, it has a helicopter pad on it because of course every yacht needs a helicopter pad. We have a little like hot tub area there. Uh, it, we're gonna go ahead and get into more details about it. Apparently it's very buggy. That doesn't really matter. Let's spend 50 million. Um, but I will advise you not to buy it if you have 50 million just because there's probably more better things that you can spend 50 million in-game dollars on. Honestly, watching this video is probably gonna show you everything that you wanted to know anyways, so save your money and uh, don't do that, okay? So here we are in the city. This is the area that recently got revamped, and actually, I haven't really taken much of a look at this, uh, this area of the map. We did a lot of the racing recently with Thomas, but we haven't really spent any time just to explore. So let's take a quick look at uh, at this area here. We have a working Ferris wheel, which is pretty neat. I mean, obviously you can't sit in it or anything like that, but um, this is probably a good spot to actually go ahead and launch the boat because there's a lot of room for it, but apparently it's very glitchy. So let's find out just how glitchy that actually is. Um, there's no actual swimming in the water either, but that's okay. Here we go. Uh, boats. Oh god, here we go. Am I- do I have enough space yet? I can't even tell. Okay, I'm just gonna spawn it, and, uh, we're just gonna see what happens, I guess. Guys, before I go ahead and spawn it, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up if you want more Driving Empire. And with that being said, uh, here we go. There it is, guys. We got it into the water. It's still kind of on the beach a little bit, that's okay. Um, where am I actually? Hold on. Can I actually, like, jump out? Oh, I can. Okay, nice. So, we are actually standing on our $50 million yacht right now. This is awesome. So, this is, I guess, where you would kind of, like, walk into it. And then, uh, let's just see. Let's explore this place because we haven't really had a chance to just look around. Um, so this is the first floor. I don't believe you can go inside of any of these rooms or anything like that There's probably nothing in there So you guys can walk up a little bit a lot of it is just like decoration and stuff. So not really useful um, But let's see. So this is the first floor nothing really going on too much here uh, This guy came to check out the yacht of course. I mean this is definitely not something you see every day uh, the boat is kind of tipping a little bit. There's like a little bar down there as well. And then this is the second story. This is, I guess, the lounge and maybe like a restaurant type of area. It's pretty cool. You do have like working seats and stuff. So like, I mean, you can sit here, you can sit in different spots. Uh, but that's, I think, all the like interactable stuff you can do. All right, guys. So this is the third floor. There's a bar here and everything like that as well. The only way to actually get up to this floor is by doing a little bit of parkour, but it's really not that complicated. Um, and then over here is I guess where all the controls would be and this is probably where the captain would probably sit and like look over everything There's a helicopter launch pad over here as well um, Which is pretty awesome. Oh, and you can actually kind of go inside of some of the rooms too But you, you kind of want to be careful because stuff like this is gonna happen to you I think this is what he meant by it's a little bit buggy. Uh, I don't know where I am I guess I'm in like the basement or something. I don't know 
Oh, and I just walked right through it. Okay, so that's kind of another thing to note. All right, so we made it to the next floor. Uh, we basically just parkoured our way here. You have a little bit of a pool. You can actually sit in the pool as well if you wanted to. Another bar, because why the heck not? Um, and let's see. Okay, there we go. Now we're on the top floor. This is definitely where you want to hang out. This is the nicest spot probably. Uh, there's even more benches there as well. This thing is just massive. I can't believe how big this is. Um, but anyways, I don't actually know where you operate this from so we're gonna have to spawn it again and try to actually like drive it Hold on. This is probably gonna be the part where things get a little bit buggy um, So here we go. Okay, we're moving things are working actually right now sweet. That is nuts Okay, I actually did not expect this to work. I was told that apparently this doesn't work um, But you can see you're actually making money as you drive this thing as well it's probably not the best way to make money, um, but it works, and this thing can go up to 54 miles an hour as well, which is decently fast. Yeah, this thing is just huge, honestly. We have the lighthouse over there as well, and you really get a good view of the entire city here in this, uh, in this look. So, yeah, very cool. We have the airport drag strip over there. Uh, we have like a little shipping yard over there. I think the best thing about the yacht is probably just to get a good view of the city. I mean, other than that, like, you could also just use a helicopter if you wanted to. This isn't really worth the money, so please don't spend 50 million on this. You could buy like almost every car in the game probably for that price, so... Yeah, there's, there's better ways to spend the money, but uh, let's see if we could take this thing onto the land or something. Hold on, let me see if this is possible. It's raining, this is also a new feature. Um, okay, let's see if there's any way we can take this thing on land, because that would be so sick. Okay, we're near the spawn. What happens when we go ahead and try to spawn the yacht here? Does it work? Oh, it says get closer to the ocean to spawn. Okay, so there's a way to kind of prevent that. That would have been hilarious though. So I made this video because I kind of figured people would want to know what the yacht actually looks like and how it works. Um, and I think I basically accomplished that. I think that is basically all there is to show you about the yacht. There's not really too much to it. It's it's uh, not worth the money. So I wouldn't recommend buying it, but it is, you know, it's pretty cool to flex. But yeah, it's otherwise pretty useless. If you want to just flex on your friends, that's pretty much the only thing you can do with it. That being said, guys, I will wrap today's video up here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want more Driving Empire, just let me know. Uh, wait, is that a gun store? Hold on a second. There's guns in this game now? What? Oh, okay, it's empty. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care, everybody.